In this video, we'll be solving the English Olympiad paper for class 1. If you need more time, you can pause the video and give the answer. Let's get started. So you'll be shown a picture as an example and you need to choose the name for it. So let's look at question 1. Can you guess the name for this object shown? Good, it is option A, folk. Well done. Let's go to the next one. Tell me the name of this picture shown. Very good, it is option B, trunk. I'm sure you have got this right. Let's see this one. Do you know anyone in your house uses this? What is it called? It is a walking stick. That is option A. Okay, our next question in this section. Easy one. I'm sure you all have it. What is this object shown? It is option B, the ball. So, all correct. Very good. It was easy peasy. Now, we'll head to finding the odd one. Look at this example. There is a plate, table, chair. Which is the odd one? It is plate. Because table and chair both have four legs but not the plate. So use your logic and find the odd one in the given questions. Let's start. Can you guess the odd one in question 5? White sky or pink? You're right. Sky is odd one because white and pink are colors. How about 6? Puppy, chicken, man. What is the odd one? Well, here puppy and chick are baby types of dog and hen, but man is a grown-up, so he's the odd one. What about mark pencil book, which is the odd one? It is mark because we use pencil and book in our studies and school. Very well done. Now in this section, let's check your spellings. From options A, B, C, can you find which is the correct and meaningful word? Good, it's option B, father, who's a parent or papa. What about these three options? Which is the right meaningful word? Yes, it is paper on which you write or draw. Correct? Okay, next one. Have you spotted the right one? Yes, it's option B, brown, which is a color that you use in coloring mountains and trees. How about 11th one? Are you able to spot the correct word? It's option A, tomato, a vegetable which we all must eat. Good. Now in this next section, we need to choose the right word to fill in the blank. So tell me, the young one of a horse is a, think, think, foal, which is option C. Okay, let's go to the next one. What is the young one of a goose called? Choose from the given options. So the right answer for this is option C, gosling. So a baby goose is called a gosling. Now in the next section, give me the gender opposite pair for husband. Choose from these options. Come on, think, think. Yes, you're right. It's wife. So husband's opposite gender is wife. How about peahen? So can you guess or tell me the answer for the gender opposite of peahen? Well, it's peacock. Peacock is male and peahen is female. The next section, let's fill in the right verb tense here. Sita dash every day. Choose from the options A, B or C. Well, the answer is swims every day because one person, so there'll be a S at the end of the verb. One, there are many dash in the park. Is it children, childs or childrens? Choose the right plural. It is a children. That is the correct one to be chosen here. Let's see what is next. Two dash of grape. 
choose the correct word would it be bunch branches or bunches well the clue is two here so two is a plural that's why the right answer is two bunches of grape in our next section we need to match the opposites for example the opposite of tall is short can you match the opposites for the given words below let's see if you can do it so the opposite of high is low. Very well. How about deep? The opposite of deep is shallow. And the last word empty. The opposite of empty is full. Remember to revise your opposites. They are very important. Now we'll go to our section 2 which is on reading. So look at the picture and choose the right answer. My name is Rappo. I am a what? What is there in this picture? Can you choose the right answer from A, B, C? It is a dog. Option A. That's correct. Well done kids. Let's see what the next question is about. I live in a dash. So the dog lives in which options here? Tell me the right answer. It is option B, kennel. That is what a dog house is called. Let's go to our next question. I like to eat dash. It's again about the dog only. Which option is right? Yes, he loves his bones. So dog loves to chew on bones. So option A is right. When I am happy, I dash. What does the dog do when he is happy? Is it A, B or C? It is B. A happy dog always wags his tail. Well done. Now let's see this picture and answer the following questions. The picture shows a dash scene in the woods. Is it noisy, calm or violent? Come on, see the picture and tell me what the right answer would be. It is a Calm scene in the woods because all the animals are happy playing in this environment. Next question. The deer is dash its young one. Look at the picture and tell me if the deer is biting, feeding or licking. Yes, the deer is licking its young one. Option C is the right answer. The next question says, I can see a dash on the trunk where the rabbit is hiding. Look at the picture and choose the right answer from these options. It is a frog that is on the trunk where rabbit is hiding. Well done. Now we come to our last and final section. In this section, you need to answer the questions asked. So tell me if someone asks you, do you want a party hat? What would your answer be from these options? It will be yes, please. That means yes, I want a party hat. In the next question, they ask, Hello, Anju. Are you better now? How do you think Anju should answer this courteously? She should say, Yes, thank you. That's a courteous way to answer such a question. Next question. You are standing on my foot. What should you reply to this? Remember, we need to answer correctly and politely. So, you will say, I am so sorry. Yes. Let's go to the next question. Someone says, this is my friend Tilly. So someone introduces their friend. What will your reply to this be? So when you're introduced to someone, you greet them. So the answer should be, hello Tilly. Option C. Anu lives near the beach. Can you tell me what would be the next sentence relating to this? It will be option C. She plays there every day. Let's see what the next question is. This is a pet shop. Which sentence should follow after this that relates to the sentence? Think and tell me. Well, the answer is option B. There are five kittens there because the there points to the pet shop. Next question. Tomorrow is grandparents day. So what would be your next sentence after this? Well, on this day, you want to celebrate with grandparents. So, it will be option A. We are taking our grandparents out. So, these are the kind of questions you will face in your English Olympiads. Be prepared and hope you found this useful. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 
till we meet again take care